Endorphy, the company of weird ass quotes and hiding stuff. What the hell does this even mean? I got a weird history with Enderfy. No, not actually Enderfy, but Silentium PC, because as they announced at the end of 2022, the owner decided to create a totally new brand called Enderfy, or in other words, rebrand all of the Silentium PCs, like old gear, and pretend like the former company just never existed. No idea why they did that. Sure, they now got like keyboards and mics, but why create a whole new brand? for the same stuff. And my weird history with Slantium PC kinda ended with them just ghosting me. Needless to say, I was pissed, but not because of them ghosting me. I get that, I'm a small fish in a big pond and I know my position. And for example, I have yet to receive any answer from a, like, basically any GPU manufacturer at all. So I know my place, but they are Polish. And me also being from the land of like weirdly tasting water and the best fucking food you can find on this whole damn planet, I was excited to work with like one of the very few Polish tech companies that do exist. Anyway, because their products were requested again and again and again in the comment section, I just decided that I'm going to have fun by buying them myself and poke a few jokes at the company who clearly hired a poet as a copywriter. You'll mount the Stratus 120 PVM in mere minutes. Even if it is your first time. That sounds so weird. We've prepared. I'm not even going to pretend that I can read whatever this says. That'll guide you step by step through the entire process. You don't even have to buy any extra mounting parts like any fan on this goddamn planet. Simply, missing white space, speaking, we took care of everything. I usually like to praise companies that present their stuff in a good way, but in this case, they just completely overdid it. In like in the wrong way. Sure, everything is looking pretty, like pretty enough that you'll need to sell a few thousands of them to just pay off the designer for this product page alone. But when I read about a fan, I want to know four things. Speed bearing, max amount of air per minute, so CFM, and max static pressure in millimeters of H2O. We got two. The two least important ones. But hey, at least we got 12 centimeters of pure awesomeness. In all fairness, I read the, like, the Polish version. It doesn't do the same reference, but for God's sake, please proofread your translations. <laughs> the Enderfry Stratus line exists in both 120 and 140, and then for each size, we got an ARGB and a regular black version. What we got here is the very regular all black Stratus 120mm PVM. And to cut Enderfy some slack here, this is the most base version of a fan that they got. It's not a Noxia NFA-12, and it shouldn't live up to that standard. This is more like the, the Arctic P12 level of things, both price and just like overall. It even comes in a very similar packaging, a very simple brown cotton box containing the fan and a bunch of screws and way too much PR. Extreme speed range, as in extreme 1400 RPM, buckle up T30, someone is coming for you. As I said, the fan is kept very, very simple. All black, nine slightly heavier bent wings, and yeah, that's basically it. We got no rubber for additional vibration absorption and any other types of extras. A fan, a 58 centimeter long PVM cable, and that's it. As I said, it's like a P12. The one thing that did kind of wonder me is the size of the central hub. For this type and speed, it's surprisingly big. But maybe it performs like a beast. It doesn't. But it doesn't have to. We tested this bad boy <laughs> on our case fan testing machine, which is basically a wooden box where we use two fans to recycle the air within it, where we measure the CPU temperature using a passive Noxia NHP1. Running at the max 1400 RPM, the Stratus managed to keep the CPU at 45.6 degrees C above ambient, which, given the fan speed, isn't such a bad result. It's quite in line with the Iceberg Thermal Ice Gate Silent or things like the Noxia S line of fans. So, if used as solely case fans, you know, to get air in and out without any restriction, it's still fine. But the thing with Endorphy, and I love to give them shit for their PR, and I'll continue to do so, but everything that I have seen from them has a very, very pleasant noise profile. In fact, our DB meter was only able to pick up a single measuring point before it just hit noise floor. And that was 0.1 dB above it. 
So the noise to performance line for case fans is incredibly hard to read. But the Stratus is sitting just on the same level as an Arctic P12 if you make it spin slow enough and then it just immediately hits noise floor. But the most important point here is that the Stratus beat the Noctua S12B in both noise to performance and just raw performance. So in the end, as a case fan, it's it's not like a burst performer. Not at all. This thing will, will not force anything to become cool. But if you got the right case without restrictions, like whatsoever, and you only need the fan to spin quietly to recycle the air, there are just not a lot of fans that can do it as quiet just don't expect it to force anything. And this brings us to the radiator benchmark, where we measure how low a given fan can keep the water temperature above ambient on a 80 mm thick 10 FPI radiator. Well, as you might guess given all what I just said, it's not particularly low. At 15.3 degrees C above ambient on the water, it landed on one of the lowest spots yet, and thus isn't recommendable to use on any radiator ever. The noise to performance graph on radiators looks very similar. In this scenario, it's just marginally behind the Arctic P12 Max normalized to performance. But given this is not recycling air, you actually need to have like some level of base performance to even compete. Being just silent may not be enough for here. It might be good for cases, but not for radiators. So even if it's not like a bench chart topper of any sorts, given what it is meant to be used, it's still fine. Actually, it's just like a slightly lower spinning version of a P12. In fact, it's, it's in every way what you get, how much it pushes and what it costs. And for a price of $5.99 right now and here, it's actually competing with Arctic. So in general, it's not a bad fan. They just oversold it as fuck. It's not a monster, it's not a bad boy. It's a relatively okay-ish case fan. It will do the job for your average build without any like extreme restrictions or the necessity of recycling the air at a crazy pace. If you're building your average 500, 1000 euro PC, these will do it. And the one thing they definitely got going is noise. They are they are indeed surprisingly quiet. And as long as you take them for what they truly are, they are fine. But okay, this was it for Endorphi and their Stratus 120PVM. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you wanna join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to hire whoever writes and or copy. Just imagine how poetic my videos will become with a new copywriter. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.